This is what spirit makes people do. They throw away backpacks and an Air Force box just because you can't bring it. You know, it's so funny because you, you see the memes all day, like flying with spirit is so bad, like don't ever book with spirit. It's, you know, it's the worst. And we booked spirit to go to Colorado and the systems are dead right now. So now we've just been sitting for like 20 minutes in a wait. Hopefully they get back soon. It's ridiculous. I'm hungry. Look, another pair of Air Force One box. So Spirit has like the worst bag restrictions. It's like 40 pounds. My bag was 46. I had to like put three jackets in my friend's car before like I can even leave. I don't know what I'm gonna do. We'll see. Tuna fish sandwich. While we're sitting here in line, I might as well tell you guys about these new boots that I got. I forgot to tell you, I got these at Ross for like 25 bucks. They're Nike combat boots, and I swear this is my first time using them. They are so comfortable, super lightweight, and they almost look like Yeezy boots. I'll let you guys know how it is more, but I definitely recommend these. And I didn't realize retail is like 200 bucks on these. I found them on clearance though at Ross, size 11 and a half, fire. So we're finally on the plane and of course we've been sitting for like 30 minutes because they had to get the bags on or something like that. But uh, security only took us like 10 minutes. It wasn't that bad at all. <laughs> and we went from having two aisle seats to having a window and a center. But also we basically have a full row and that one if no one comes. So we got kind of lucky because we're on aisle 7 too. We were on 24 and 20, so. Now we're just waiting to take off. We were supposed to take off 30 minutes ago, so. It's not too bad that delayed. We're supposed to land what time at 9.30? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we should make like a. I'm like hungry. A, like a song, you know? Like a porno? A millionaire is vlog. No. <laughs> That. We ain't no family channel. I'm an addict. Well, we finally made it in Colorado. Uh, we're on the shuttle right now. We're taking the shuttle from Denver. <laughs> we don't know, we're keeping that in. Keeping that in, I'm keeping that in. Uh, we're taking the shuttle from Denver to Boulder, which is like 45 minute shuttle. Uh, we're gonna pick up a rental car, and then we're gonna pick up some weed. That's the first thing we gotta do. We're gonna get the rental car and straight to the dispensary. But the dispensaries are doing uh, pre like pre online order only. I guess you can't go in due to COVID and whatnot. They're kind of shut down. So I did place two orders of flour and concentrate. So I will show you guys uh, how you pick up weed in Colorado with during COVID, you know? But as you see, it is covered with snow right now. So let's go get that rental car. So we pointed out the crack in the window. He said he's aware if it gets bigger, no problem. But this is gonna be our truck for it. Everything looks good. Toilets. Everything looks good. Fuel is half tank. So we lucked out. Uh, when I made the reservation, I pick the you pick which basically I let them decide I didn't pick like compact or anything like that and I got a truck now the truck rates when I was renting it it was probably 500 for the week we paid hundred and forty five dollars for the week total like everything so super blessed uh, but like I said we are gonna go across the street is actually ironic right across the street is the dispensary that I looked I already placed two orders for flour and concentrates so let's go pull up there and I guess I give them a call and see how it is because we can't go inside. So, you know, buying weed in quarantine. 
I don't know more signs. <laughs> so this was totally unexpected, but uh, right next to the grocery store that we were gonna start getting groceries at, there's a Plato's closet, so I figured, you know what, we have to come in and stop and see. Uh, it's obviously just gonna be tidying in this video. I'm not gonna make like a Plato's closet video, but uh, uh, let's see what Boulder, Colorado Plato closet has and what the prices are. Well, instantly you can see boots, all ski pants, all ski jackets. Definitely not in Miami anymore, that's for sure. Look at this, like North Face high vent. Let's see how much this is. $75. I don't know if that's like, I think that's probably about normal price. $75 for a North Face jacket. This is a Columbia jacket. What's this? Shoes. Oh, look at this. This is sick. Urban Outfitters, sadly. How much is this though? I really like this jacket, but it's so warm. And I don't see a pro. Oh, there's a price tag. Let's see how much this is. I'm gonna say 35. Fifty dollars. Damn. So we can already tell the prices here are much ex more expensive than uh, back home. Polo Ralph Lauren. Seems like it's it was brand new with the tags. How much is this? Fifty dollars. Also. That's actually not bad because this is probably like a hundred dollar plus Ralph Lauren because it has the vest mixed in with the jacket. Marmont, they have good brands here for sure. Oh wow, look at these. Fajal Raven brand new with tags. Thirty dollars. Size men twenty nine. If this was my size, I'd probably pick them up. Another North Face. Ooh, look at this North Face. Wow, that is so hard. All blue. How much is this? It's probably going to be 75 Oh, wow, it's only $35. That's actually not bad for this North Face. This might be a potential. $35? It's not bad at all. I do have a pair of Nike Reacts. Seems like it's a size 13 or 14, though. Very big. 20 bucks though. That's super cheap. Super, super cheap. 20 bucks. Wow. I might look these up. Some more North Face. Hollister. Champion. Hawk and Co. Do have some New Balances. Look at these. Sample New Balances. Sample not for resale. $45. What if these are samples? Oh yeah, these are samples too. Look at this. Sample not for resale. New Balance. $45 also. And then another sample. All three samples. What size? So, what size do they use their samples? They use... It doesn't even say. Look at it. It just says SS. That's crazy. This is a medium too. It's pretty big. Does it look sick? Yeah. Copper drop. Look at all these. This is all New Balance, and they're all sample New Balances. I'm not familiar. Oh, look at these. Five seven four sample, not for resale. I'm not sure. I mean, I imagine if I had to guess, New Balance is from Colorado, just because why would someone have literally every single one of these are samples? All these are sample New Balances. They all have sample tags. Like, look at these. <laughs> Is New Balance based out of Colorado? So, we get promoters that come in, so it's people that work for Because I noticed every pair is they're samples. Yeah, they're all... Um, not released. New. 
they are the stock sizes that they use for display. And so what they do is they give the promoter, like they split up all the shoes and everything else like between all the promoters. Yeah. And then they come to us and sell these free stuff. Huh. So, you know. That's cool. Yeah, we have like five times this amount, so this is all the time. Because <laughs> it all like flies off the shelves, you know? Yeah. This was a uh, bare brick at first. I think it is a bare brick, but it's Disney. Disney Neff. Super weird. In and out burgers. You could tell, look at this is a short sleeve section. It's like nothing. Look at this. I just found this lazy off. If you guys don't know, this brand is super expensive. Like, it's a woman's, but look how sick this is. Like, the collar and everything. They want 16 bucks for it though. And look at this. I was like, this is what I really caught my attention. And then this was behind it, but champion all over print. I don't know if this is a women's section sweaters or not. Like they have an obey hoodie. Scotch and soda. Very nice yellow crew neck. Nike. Adidas. What's that? Diesel. Damn, they have some really nice stuff. 20 bucks. No way, this is the first time I see one. In the back. Get a little closer though, like the head. I feel like we're gonna see many of these. So I have never seen this ever, and I feel like it's so smart and wonder why people don't do it. It's a vending machine inside a store that you can access outside the store, and it's bike stuff like tubes and repairs and a bike lock and a bike thing like that's awesome 24 7 if you're riding around and you have a flat tire you just come up doot, 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 and you get it that's fire but i feel like this could only happen in colorado if this happened in miami this would be stolen by now so we just came to a little uh taco bar place because it's literally the only place that uh is open that we can get drinks and some you know a couple of things to eat so the first thing we got is this tequila flight i'll be honest with you i have no idea what actually here let me just go to the menu and i'll tell you guys exactly what it is so it is this tequila wheel flight and then it's re reposado and yenho and then blanco so, Blanco, and Añejo, and Reposado. And then they gave us oranges. So this is seven in Spanish, this is lucky, and this is 123 ORG. I don't know what that means. Huh. So we start left to right. And obviously you don't take it all, you sip. I don't take it all. <laughs> well, then you should order two of them. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> That's the point, is so you could taste the tequila. And then you can use the orange if you want to. See, me personally, I feel like when you're drinking tequila, if you're gonna drink Blanco, you might as well just drink vodka. Uh, I really like Reposado the most out of tequilas, just because it tastes the best. And tequila, I really drink by itself or with pineapple. Why did you go straight to number three? You're supposed to go number one to two and three. And I haven't even done one. I gotta Yo. go, man. I gotta go. Strong. Like, it's strong in the beginning and it's strong at the end. This one is better. Well, yeah, that's why you go one, two, and three. All right, this is number two. Oh, that one's smoky. Has like a smoky taste to it. Try this one. I'm gonna try the third one. See, I like that one the best. I like the second one the best because it's like a smoky taste. This one is just, it's Blanco, it's normal tequila. This one, it's its okay, it's not the best reposado, but this one is like a nice smoky taste, so I would definitely go with the second one for sure. So do we chug it now? You want to. 
But I get this one. And you probably want that one. Yeah. And then we're gonna split this one. Yeah. I'm gonna sip on mine though. <laughs> I'm not chugging mine. I'm gonna sip on it. I'm gonna sip on it. Warm up the insides. It's a lot though. <laughs> You're gonna need that orange after that. Okay. <laughs> You're such a show off for the camera. If the camera wasn't here, you'd be like, ah. No, I'm telling you, I was gonna say take we went, this one, I knew. Where did we go? We went We went out to a bar the other day by my house and they gave us vodka shot and they chilled the shot. And obviously when you get a chilled shot, there's basically water inside the shot. And she's like, oh, they poured water in, like this is fake, like they didn't pour vodka in it. I was telling her, like it's a chilled shot. It's supposed to be like that. She's like, it just went down so smooth, there's no way. So I told her, it's just the way. Water. It almost has like a banana scent to it. Yeah. Or something. I don't know, I smell banana. No, 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 way. Don't you put the glue? Come on. You're not driving tonight. I'm enjoying it. Go we'll enjoy this one. We also ordered duck quesadillas, so I'll let you know when that gets here. So this is the duck quesadilla. I have no idea what's inside. It looks like a bunch of sauces, but if you look, that's a fat piece of duck, so I'm pretty excited for it. Oof, steaming. Careful. Don't show me eating it. I won't go. Oh, it's hot. Is it good though? Look at that piece of duck. I'm gonna eat that piece of duck by itself. It's so warm. Yo, so this duck quesadilla was $7 and it's a 10 out of 10. I'm, I'm like constantly, I'm like, what's wrong with this quesadilla? Why is it only $7? Because it's duck. It should be like a $14, $15 quesadilla. It is fire though. 10 out of 10, I would definitely recommend. It has a bite to it, it is spicy, but with the queso and just the duck like perfectly cooked, it just melts in your mouth. It is so good.